this video, I'm going to give you the five questions to ask yourself to make your home or garden project more sustainable, going through the process that I went through when designing and building these raised garden beds. I'm Mike Stokes, and this is the Regenerative Home, where our mission is to help you build more resilient and regenerative lives with practical skills in your home and garden. So the first question to ask yourself to make your project more sustainable is, is it easily repairable? So in this particular uh, design here, using these old redwood boards, all I have to do to repair this is add another layer of recycled redwood boards around the outside, and that'll make it last another 10, 15, 20 years. The, the second question to ask yourself is is this can i make this out of reclaimed second use materials or reputable third-party certified materials so for example you can pretty much see these are old uh, redwood well you can't see the redwood but these are old redwood deck boards that i cut off some of the old rotted parts and then we used the japanese shishugi bond technique to char them and that charring should give them a little extra life. So we're taking a, 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 a material that's already done. So it's, it's inherently adding life to it. So if you haven't heard of it, there's something called a life cycle analysis or a life cycle cost. And that life cycle cost takes into account all of the energy, all the water, all the raw materials, all the labor, all the transportation, the amount of forest that was cut down, maybe the biodiversity that was lost. So every time you're using something that's reclaimed, that cost is, in a way, it's almost zero because it's already gone through its life cycle. So reclaimed first, repurposed, reclaimed and repurposed first. And then if you can't do reclaimed or repurposed, the next thing would be a reputable third-party certified, uh, the most sustainable um, option that you can find. So for example, uh, whenever I buy wood these days, I do my best to buy FSC certified wood and not SFI. Um, so SFI would be an example of a lower bar of sustainably certified wood. Um, I, I can't even really say it's sustainable. It's, it's something that the industry created. Uh, whereas FSC was truly a third party that's trying to ensure that we have more sustainably managed forests. Um, I did an interview with a company, a local company, Mendocino Forest Products Company, on their FSC certification program and what they do in their forests. So if you're interested in that, click the link below. So then the and next I'll... thing to ask is, is, is this thing really worth my time? A lot of times I think people forget um, that your time in this whole sustainably, sustainability world, if it's going to take you a week to do something super simple and you're a really busy person, then that's not going to, it's not really sustainable. You have to have something that's going to be, that's going to fit in your life. So this particular uh, design, it's not fancy. It doesn't have lots of like curves. It doesn't have, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of unique design elements. Now, if you've got a lot of time and a lot of money, well then by all means go for that. But it's a simple, good looking design that all I had to do was cut the, cut them into shape and size and then screw them onto these four by fours, make a flat spot and it's done. The, the next question to ask yourself is, is, is how long will it last? And how long should it last? So in this particular case, we want these garden beds to last our lifetime. Um, we don't really know in the future if people are still gonna wanna garden here, so maybe even past our lifetime. So these are gonna need to be repaired in our lifetime, so that's why it's important that they're repairable. But with the Shishugi Bond burn technique, that should give it some extra life and make it last as long as possible. Now, for example, if you're doing a building, if you're spending a ton of money and energy on your remodel, on the, the, the various different configurations in the inside, that's, that's questionable about how much, how long you want that to last. Because technology changes and people, people upgrade and change the inside of their homes a lot. So for example, there's, you, you want to take that thousand year old building in you know the italian villas and they're still using the envelope but the to the inside is totally transformed so you want to make your envelopes last a long time those things that people can you want to make your your designs so that they can be adapted to the changing times 
So the last question to ask is ultimately, does this project enhance life? So garden beds are inherently gonna enhance our life because we're growing food. Um, and then even beyond that, this particular design, inside of this soil, we buried logs in the German Huga culture technique, which is creating fungal communities around those logs and then slowly feeding the soil and also acting as a, um, a moisture sponge for the dry months to give it a little bit more uh, water. So we're, we're enhancing the life around our property by making it so we have to water it less so that there's more microbial life inside of the soil. So if you ask yourself those five questions, you know, is it easy to repair? Um, can I build it with reclaimed or purpose materials or some third party certified sustainable material? Can I make it really the build as time efficient as possible? Um, can I make it last as long as it should, but not too long so that it'll be a waste of resources in the long term? And ultimately, does what can I do to the project? Adding the Hugo culture inside of the soil, um, making it so that uh, it retains water and has more, 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 my, more microbial life. Can I do things to it that will enhance life in general? So I hope that has been helpful. Um, if you want to see just the time lapse of the build, you click the link, uh, watch this next video, and that's just a quick three-minute video about the time lapse.